This is a shirt, an old shirt that I'm going to try to turn into the dress for my um, for my little monster lady. So what I'm going to do is cut it here and then see how that works out. And then I'm going to cut these two sleeves to like right here, sort of like to give her some little bell, short puff sleeves. This is just an experiment because I'm not really a sewer. And we'll see how that works out. So let me cut it up and, and um, see if I can make it look like a dress. Okay, so what I've done here is I have pleated all around the top of the cutoff piece and held it in the pleats in place with these um, pins. So I think I said I was going to just glue this, but I think I'm not sure how I would glue the pleats. So I might just take it in to my machine and sew this so it'll stay pleated. Now, I'm probably going to, after I get the body of the girl in here, I may then use glue to close up these parts so that only her neck side comes through and the dress holds on to the body fine. But for now, I'm just going to run a um, stitch around here to keep the pleats because it also works with keeping the base of the skirt pleated. What I also did was cut strips off of the arm, or I cut off one of the arms of the shirt and cut it in half and made this belt. It doesn't actually go all the way around. I probably had to secure it together some way. And then the, the other part of the sleeve, I just knotted and I would end up like um, gluing it here to the side to give her a little, um, Go like that just to dress up her little dress a little bit and the arms still aren't connected yet I'm not going to um, connect them yet because there's no hole here I'm not going to connect them yet until I figure out this collar and that's what I will do like that here's what I'm doing with her body this is this is three pieces of scrap wood that I'm going to use for her boobs. <laughs> so, first of all, I have this um, rectangle piece of wood and I'm going to strap these. See, I've cut off, and this is this was scrap, so it's not perfectly shaped. I just cut off the edges to fit within this width of this board. I've got three pieces and just going to glue them together to each other and then glue them to this board at the top like this and that's going to be her complete body I have this um, this chunk of scrap 4x4 four four, so I'm going to cut it in half and it's going to be her big chunky feet I don't know if it's going to be too big and whether I should use um, a two by four, but for now it's going to be this four by four cut in half. I've cut the, the two blocks down to five and a half inches each. And I've cut some dowels. I think this dowel is, it starts out really long, like three feet long, I think. Got it from Walmart. It is five sixteenth. 5 sixteenths of an inch times 36 inches and I cut these two down or one of them down to I think this is 12 inches each okay good to know that it goes in the other leg Yeah, look at that. What? There we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm going to give her a four inch neck. It's probably it's not going to be four inches by the time I I um, go in here, but I'll see what I think of it because I want her neck to be extra long. I used the old fence post that I have, not an old one, a fence post that I had to cut a bigger head because I didn't like the little head I had. Let me see, where is it? Well, it's about this size. I don't know what I did with it, but see, I wanted a bigger one. And this is about, it's about six and a half by six and a half. It's about the same size as her body. I just wanted it big like this. Since the fence post wasn't um, wide enough, I I um, cut off another piece and glued it here at the base, about an inch to make it a good square. And I taped it until it gets dry. I also cut two extra pieces, say about an inch, an inch um, wide and maybe two inches long for her ears. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna also use a brad nail to get them. I want, I'm going to glue them sort of close to the top, but not, they're more close to the top of her head than the bottom. Like, I guess normal ears are, or is no, maybe. Actually, aren't ears like more to the middle? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to glue them on and use a brad nail to secure it as well. I'm experimenting with putting the arms together. Now, this is the arms and this two here. It's going to be joint, joint arms. And I'm going to be using these paper clips as the elbow. So what I did here, or what I'm going to do here, is use my wire clippers to open up this paper clip. To open the paper clip and then cut off part of it. It's like this. See that? I'm going to try to even it out a little bit more. Okay. So like that. And then I put my smallest bit inside this um, drill. It's actually a little bigger than the paper clip once the hole is once I get it in here. So try to aim for the middle. stick it in that was not the middle by any means like that but see it's really loose so I think I'm going to use hot glue to try to hold it in but let me show you how it looks once it's both sides are done so it would be like that and I could bend it bend the arm the way I want to but I'm going I'm not going to use wood glue for this I'm going to use hot glue because it'll be faster set and because it's not just wood and so that's what I'll do and I'll hopefully be make it bendable I forgot that I wanted to put bolts through her ears for, um, well, she's a Frankenmaster, so I want to do bolts, but I wish they weren't this long, but this is all the length, the only length and the thickness I wanted from Walmart. And this is a, uh, 3 8 inch, so I chose the 3 8 inch bit to make a hole, and the reason why I say I forgot and, um, annoyed that I forgot is because I put in her ears these uh, brad nails but I wanted to put the screw towards the bottom so it looks like earrings but I'm going I'm to still try to get it in there despite um, the brad nail being there and hope for the best that worked and as you can see the screw goes right in, the nut goes on the back, just like that. Just for the front of it, I made a little nose for her, 3D nose, and I'm going to put some nostrils in it just, just for the, just for fun. <laughs> 
Hopefully. Uh, let's see. See? Anyway, I'm going to glue it on her face. And then I'm going to be, um, then I'm going to be painting. Now I'm going to be using the main green I'm going to use is this one. And what I hope is, I hope works out. It's, um, sap green artist loft. It's just what I happen to have. I think I got it from Michael's sometime. For her shoes, I'm going to be using this Tuscan Red from Apple Barrel. It's just because I have it. And uh, I'm not going to paint her body. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to paint her, her arms, her legs, her face. I'm going to paint. I used, oh. Let me see. I think I didn't show this on camera yesterday. I used some hot glue after I used the super glue just so I could hopefully that it would work. I'm not going to bend it yet. And what I'm going to do is um what I'm what I'm planning to do is uh use the drill to drill into the side here to go up and then glue it in. Like this, actually. Am I on screen? Yeah, like this to go up in here. And then I'm going to pose her arm. The other arm will be going down like this and then with the arm down. But I'm not, I don't want to bend it too much until I'm ready to put it into place. But I'm not going to paint this body. I'm going to be painting the arms, the legs, and the shoes, the feet. And then I'll glue, put everything. I'm going to put her clothes on after I paint. And there's some little touches I'll do after I'm painted everything. Let's just get started a little bit. So you see where I'm going with this. going to try um, putting going in here a little sideways for the arm I don't know how this will work out okay so like I said I'll do it like this All right but I'm not going to put it in and glue it in until, um, until I put the clothes on because I need to go through the sleeve of her dress. I'm going to put her dress on and uh, so that I can begin to um, glue everything. I think. I'll glue her dress on after I get her arms together. Let me see. Here's her belt. I'll get the belt together. I'll get the belt together and the dress straightened out after I I glue her arms. So first, what I want to do is try to get in here and uh, figure out how to do the arms. I'm actually not sure how it should be. Um, 
the glue it. Probably going to um, do a uh, um, after I get the arm. Situated, I'm probably going to. See, I want this one arm like this, and I'm going to have to glue all this up because I am not a seamstress, but that'll be after, after I get everything situated. And the other one. What I was going to say is I think I'm going to try to um, try to use my something. I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. I might just go, you know what, to make it simple, I'm just going to have them positioned in the same way. That way, since I'm not going to make her hands, I'm not going to make hands for her. I think it's easier if I just position them the same way and keep it simple, like that. Another thing I'm going to do is put the bow, a bow on her. I'm going to use the nail gun to try to reinforce her arms. There. So that's that one. First, I'm going to go ahead and try to nail gun, use the nail gun for her arms. Um, and then after that, I'll come back and start working on putting her legs in. Somehow, after painting, I don't know, these holes don't seem to be the same size as they were. I don't know if you can see, but I glued her dress closed, except for this hole where her neck will go. And I glued the sleeves into place on the top. So I've got these pearls from Walmart. And I'm going to string some together with some twine, hopefully. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to make her a necklace, a pearl necklace.
Um, but it's her necklace. I'm considering um, gluing it. So, but no, I mean it hangs fine. It doesn't need to be glued. I was gonna glue it like that, but it's all right. First, I'm going to try gluing. I, I cut out some of this base here and I'm going to try gluing it to the top of her head. Then I'll build the hair from there. I think the hot glue might melt this thing, but I'm going to try it. Okay, what I've done here is use the pencil to try in her face, some of her face. Um, I used a medicine bottle to draw circles for her eyes and then I just hand drew the lips and um, eyelids. And I'm going to go over it with a, a Sharpie paint pen. This is not just a marker, it's a, uh, I think it's a paint pen. Oh yeah, here, it's a paint, paint pen. So, let's try to do this as neatly as we can. Okay. Now, I think... I don't know why that's coming out like that. And then I um my um I think this is truffle. Yeah, this is truffle paint by Waverly. I think it's a little dried out, so it's a little tough to um, get on here. This one I think made I made too big. But after it dries, I'm going to outline outline again with the black Sharpie just to try to define it a little better. But it's going on thick and gross. I probably should add water to it, but I don't feel like I want to get any. So I'm just going to do the best I can. I think this is the way I did it on my, on my mock up here. to try this blueberry frost for her um for her eyeshadow Now we're going to do her lips with um, pyroli py py red. to the eyes I'm going to use this apple barrel white paint
tried using this Mod Podge to paint onto the tube, but it didn't work. So what I did was spray the tube with this spray adhesive, dump her upside down, and then squeeze the hair against it. It, it's it's all I could really do. I don't like how some of this has got glue on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray under like this and then press it again. That's all I can do. Until we, I'm trying to keep the glue underneath. I'm trying to keep the glue underneath the hair instead of on top of it because this spray adhesive makes the yarn dry gray. So if I could keep it under, it would work out better. I decided her hair would be much more realistic if it swept to the side. So I did that. And I did use, see there, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I used the hot glue gun to make it look like it was a little bit bunny hair. Still not that great, but it is what it is. I'm tired of fighting with her hair. So here it is. And I glued on the white piece. I don't know. When I laid it on there naturally, it, it was fine. But when I put the glue on, it got a little bit more artificial looking. So that's all I can do. I still don't like these little curly cues. But I don't know what, oh, also I cut off, I cut off the part that was like glued like this. I just cut it off because that just wasn't working out either. So that's all I can do with her hair, I think. I'm going to try to fix these little stragglers in the back and then just call it a day. <laughs>